Hello Aquarius! Welcome to your love reading for October 2019 and welcome back to my channel Luna Sync Tarot. Thank you for joining me here today. If you have a minute hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications. I do love readings for each sign for each month. So make sure to check back in. Alright so I've already shuffled your cards and I've laid them out here for you to see. So let's sync up. In the position of you and what you're contributing to the connection in October is the Knight of Wands. Coming in fast and passionate around some sort of new idea that has to do with an entrepreneurial project or passion, some passion that you might have or the way that you might feel about this love connection in October. In the position of the other is the Three of Cups reverse. So somebody who's taking a time out, a little bit of time out from socialization. It's not the time out that, say, the hermit would take or the, um, the hanged man would take. It's more of just like a brief time out from this high social activity. It could be a recovery as well from some sort of third party situation. So possibly in the past there was a third influence in this love connection that this person is coming out of or sort of recovering from in some way. In the position of the combined energy, we have the Magician. This is really positive. This means that the two of you together are taking action and manifesting something into reality. And this is, again, in the position of the combined energy. So it has both of you at the table here manifesting what it is that you want inside of this connection. Then in the position of the outcome and what needs to be understood and integrated is the Knight of Cups. Somebody is wearing their heart on their sleeve. There's some sort of offering, some sort of profession of love or some sort of emotional profession. Somebody is coming forward to say, hey, I love you, let's be together, let's move in together, let's get married. Some sort of profession, like let's move this love connection forward. All right, let's clarify a little bit. I wanna know how your love connection is feeling about you in October. What's the chemistry like? How do they feel about the chemistry? How do they feel about the emotional connection with you in October? Yeah, we have two knights here. Knights are all about action, taking action. The Knight of Wands is about taking action around some sort of passion project. The Knight of Cups is around is about taking action around an emotion, some sort of feeling. Oops, here we go. We have two cards that flew out here. I'm going to put them here. <clears throat> I'm going to read both of these upright. Um... The world. This is, so we wanted to clarify your partner, how they're feeling about your connection in October. And the world fell out and the Seven of Swords fell out. Interesting. Okay. So they feel like this connection really offers them a lot. So the world is about taking this sort of 60,000 foot view, really looking at all the pieces, integrating all the pieces, and getting that to that point of understanding about something. And it's also about a new beginning. It's about achievement. It's about moving forward into a new, a totally new way of life. So they really do see that this connection will bring them that new beginning, that they sort of see this connection in a different way than they've seen it before. And that it offers them the world. It offers them all of the pieces and they see the whole picture um, that has to do with this love connection. There's also the Seven of Swords that fell out. <clears throat> Usually the Seven of Swords is about deception. So if this card, the Three of Cups Reverse, really is speaking to somebody who's in recovery from some sort of third influence in this connection or third party situation, maybe there were three people involved, then the Seven of Swords speaks to this feeling of deception, feeling of things, you know, the truth is not quite, um, somebody's not quite being truthful. There's deception. It's a deceptive situation. And it's leaving both parties feeling detached from one another. So this is how your love connection feels about your connection and you in October. It's like there's this push-pull thing. They really do feel like this connection is the world that they could have the world inside of this connection, but there's something there that's holding them back that's feeling a little bit deceptive, like the truth wasn't on point. Um, they, they are recovering from some sort of um, anxiety or pain or hurt <clears throat> in this connection. How do you feel about them? How do you feel about this connection in October? 
What do you think about them? We have three cards that fell out. Yep. The Five of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. We have three Pentacles. Okay, so Pentacles, um, the Suit of Pentacles is all about all things that are real and tangible. Home, health, uh, family, career, money, food. Um, all the things that you can taste, touch, sense, that you can feel, the sensorial aspects of life. In this, I'm going to read the imagery first because uh, sometimes the imagery differs a little bit from the uh, meanings in the traditional tarot. So the Five of Pentacles here, we have a very romantic scene. They're on a balcony. There's a violin. This dude is wearing a cape. They're kissing one another on this balcony. It's like a very intimate, sweet kiss. This is like the romantic ideal. The way that you feel about this connection is that it, it offers you this sort of romantic idealism that you might quite like. You also see this connection as one that is an equal give and take, an equal exchange of energy, and sort of like there is this, this balancing of energy and this give and take that happens inside of this relationship that you quite like. Um, and then we also have the Queen of Pentacles. This might be the way that you see your, your partner, your connection. The Queen of Pentacles is <clears throat> somebody who really knows her worth. Um, she is very rich. She's very abundant. She knows how to work. She knows how to achieve her goals. She's surrounded by a great deal of abundance in the way of family, money, um, food. She's just like, you know, the ultimate um, abundant woman, mother, wife. Uh, this man in this picture is like kissing her feet. So she's adored. You might adore your connection in quite the same way interesting let's clarify some cards here let's clarify the three of cups i want to know what this is and also the seven of swords what i see these two cards as being connected on the part of your your partner and i want to know what this three of cups is about going with the flow so it could be that the challenge for your partner in the month of october is letting go and just going with the flow of things sort of um <clears throat> getting into the flow as opposed to fighting the tide or fighting um, fighting the flow. Or there might be some issue around resistance in some way. Um, or, you know, just maybe having an, an issue with letting go of this situation that seems to be um, serving as some sort of obstacle in the month of October in terms of your connection. All right. Let's pull a Crystal Healing Wisdom Oracle card for you. I want to know a little bit more about, I don't know, just some of the aspects of this connection in October. Let's dig a little bit deeper. The Crystal Healing Wisdom Oracle is by Judy Hall. Here we go. We have the Blue Lace Agate. Let me get that so that's straight. Let's read about that. <clears throat> it's about self-expression. Blue Lace Agate connects spirit with intellect, highlighting integrity. It enhances the ability to communicate effectively what is on your mind and heart. Self-understanding. Attune to your inner being to express the fullness of who you are. Be confident when speaking in public as you have much to share. You may have been silenced in the past. Repressing thoughts and feelings causes throat problems, so speak your mind gently, honestly, and clearly. You have the gift of serenity. Use it wisely. Speak your heartfelt truth with integrity and confidence. So we've had the word integrity come up twice. And again, this, this card here is about deception. This is about a third influence, a third party situation. So it does seem like integrity is on the table in the month of October. Expect news shortly and keep lines of communication open. Events unfold slowly. Return to basics and start again if necessary. Focus your mind and open your intuition. Your life will be long and happy. Accept your sensitive side. 
The frequency is medium to high. The chakra is throat, third eye, heart, and crown. The timing is Gemini, so May, or Pisces, so March. And then soul path, expressing yourself fully. So self-expression and integrity. So like keeping lines of communication open, expressing yourself um, to your partner, to your love connection. Something that has to do with... Um, Speaking your truth and having integrity and sort of writing this, if there was a deception in the past, sort of <clears throat> resolving that deception or resolving that disconnection with um, your words, with your self-expression, so that you can uh, be in your integrity inside of this relationship. Let's pull a medicine card from Samson Carson. I want some advice for Aquarius as you move forward through the month of October inside of this connection. Let's pull up one card for some guidance for your connection in October. Here we go. We have Hawk. So I'm going to put that right on top of the blue lace out gate. Hawk is about messenger. messenger. It is the messenger. So here we have, oh, let's see, where do we start here? Hawk medicine is a totem that's filled with responsibility because Hawk people see the overall view, just like the world here, like really taking this wide angle view of your relationship. Hawk is not like Mouse, who sees everything through a magnifying glass. Hawk medicine people are aware of omens, messages from the spirit, and the color of the calling card you gave them three months ago. No detail slips by them unnoticed. If Hawk has circled and landed in your card spread, you are to be aware of signals in your life, so notice and receive them. Hawk may be teaching you to grab an opportunity which is coming your way. On the other hand, Hawk may be bringing you the message that you should circle over your life and examine it from a higher perspective. From this vantage point, you may be able to discern the hazards which bar you from freedom of flight. Remember, Hawk has a keen eye and a bold heart, for Hawk flies close to the light of Grandfather Sun. All right. So we have a few repeating messages. One is keeping lines of communication open. One is taking a, um, a higher vantage point to observe your relationship, to re observe your connection. And the other is um, integrity. Standing in your integrity, having integrity inside of this connection or something to do with integrity is very important inside of this connection in the month of October. But again, let's circle back and review these cards. In the position of you, we have the Knight of Wands. So you have some sort of passionate uh, profession or passionate project that you're taking action around. Your partner is taking a time out from socialization and maybe recovering from some sort of third-party influence um, in your relationship, in your connection. But when the two of you come together... Again, you're both taking action to manifest something into reality. So you're working together in a very positive, resourceful way here. Finally, in what needs to be understood and integrated, the outcome is the Knight of Cups. Somebody will come forward and make a profession of love, an emotional profession, and potentially an invitation of some sort. You feel really positive about this connection. You have all pentacles over here when you think about how it is that you feel about your connection. It's like the romantic ideal. You feel that, that there's an equal exchange of energy here, and you really think of your partner as a queen that you adore. It's your partner that's held back a little bit here, though, and they need to have some support with letting go of this thing that happened in the past, this sort of deception that happened in the past. They do think, though, that your relationship is the world. Like, they, it, it gives them, it offers them the world. Um, so... Aquarius, I hope that was helpful. If it was, hit the like button so that it can circulate amongst others. And yeah, follow me on Instagram at Lunasync. I hope you have a beautiful October. All right, take good care.